next bull in the competition. That is Little Yellow Jacket, last year's reserve world champion bull. And that bull is the feature of this week's Bull Stuff. Little Yellow Jacket finished second last year for Bull of the Year. The way he's bucked this year, if they took a vote today, I don't think there's any doubt that he'd win first. This is a, a son of a world champion bull that won that title in the PRCA three years ago. Little Yellow Jacket is one of the most impressive bulls that I have uh, seen come along in a long time. And he's putting on a lot of weight. He's, he's not only quick. I talked to Nevada Burger. They weighed the bull before they came to Billings. 1,800 pounds, he's bulking up. And that would be a surprise to about anybody because, you know, his name's Little Yellow Jacket. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we've seen him for so long when he first came around, he probably didn't weigh but about 1,350 right. pounds. So we just kind of watched him grow up. And, you know, he's a man now. He's a stud. This Little Yellow Jacket, if he, if he keeps it up, not only will he win Bull of the Year, but could go down in the history books as one of the greatest of all time. And this is a rematch. Corey Mack had him at Anaheim, and you know we talk about confidence riding bulls, but you know he annihilated him at Anaheim, and he watched him just destroy Tony Mendez last night. I mean, you couldn't ask a bull to buck any harder than this bull has bucked probably the last five times. Corey McFadden, if you ride this bull, which he's only been ridden three times in the last three years, only once this year. Jim Sharp, 94 and a half. If he rides him, he will be big, big points. And Corey McFadden could go all the way. I, oh, no. Oh, no. Corey McFadden still slow, slow, slow getting up. Little yellow jacket. I, I'm hesitant to say that he had an off night. How, how would you categorize it? I would say he had a he had a he had a he had a good day to ride and kind of, you know yes, yes, a, away job. from his hand. Uh, I would I would never say he didn't buck because right. no, what, no. what what everybody always says that he didn't buck, but come right here and see what happens. Bull comes up, comes around, right there. Ooh. Well, We've got some good news that might heal him up a little bit. 95 points. Around to the left, and he's having a, a good day, and Corey Mack is just right in the middle, and he's the kind of bull that has timing. And once you get in sync, look, he was working him out to the outside just a little bit the further it went, but eight seconds, and that's a great bull ride. And luckily, you just see he drags a, he drags a foot Ooh, over him. He, he steps, steps on, on his, his right arm. Steps right between his arm and looked like it might have glanced off of the vest. And wow. thank goodness for that. I don't think he knows that he was 95. <laughs> yeah, 95 and a half. He's saying he's okay. He's going to be really excited when he when he finds out he's 95 and a half, and he is just. Overtaking Jim Sharp by 10 points, 10 and a half points. Corey McFadden is our new leader, and more importantly, he's walking out of the arena. That's that's the best sign, making a great ride and, you know, being injured. But 